Martin Reid is the director of the Road Haulage Association for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Good afternoon, Martin. Good afternoon. Um, uh, what are your thoughts then on on yesterday's events? Then you know the, there was a deadline and it came and went w with no resolution. Well, I think one of the things that we need to separate here is the idea um, about the, the deal or no deal and then the customs side of things. Because regardless of whether there is a deal or there's no deal, there will be customs requirements um, regardless of the outcome. So the problem for hauliers um, is that th there's still a lack of clarity as to what's, what's going to be required there. There have been improvements. We're getting bits and pieces of information uh, coming through now, um, but we're, we're still not getting the full picture. So could you just run us through then as some of the concerns that you have? Okay, I mean, in basic term, uh, basic term sorry, um, there was a, a whole year's handbook was issued in, in, I think it was the 18th of November, um, and it contained links to places that didn't exist. So it was empty links, there was empty information, and it was literally a few minutes before this call that the second revision went out. So we've still not had time to look at that. If we look at some of the, the systems that are likely to be used, for example, the, the, the GVMS, um, We've been told that it's the 23rd of December that that's going to be available to look at. Um, the Kent Access Permit System, um, we still haven't been able to have a look at that, but that's going to go live this week, apparently. Um, the TSS System for Northern Ireland, there's still gaps uh, in that. We're getting bits and pieces of information again. Um, but even for major movements, such as moving uh, uh, retail goods to Northern Ireland, uh, particularly in the wholesale market, there's still a lot of gaps there. We, we've been told that there will be a trusted trader system that will be used um, for some of the bigger ho um, sorry, wholesalers are, are, uh, and supermarkets are, are, are pretty certain that they will have an exemption on that. But at the end of the day, we still don't know who qualifies for that. Uh, and the details of that are not there. And the, the, these are these are essentially the systems that will um, it, it, well. The, the aim is to make sure that lorry drivers don't get delayed um, at, at ports when 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 they're transporting goods uh, to, to other EU countries. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And th th these are the requirements that will be put in place first of January, whatever, whatever happens. I mean, we're already seeing um, delays at some of the bigger ports down in uh, the south of England. Uh, Felix still had a, a well-publicised one not so long ago, but we're, we're seeing Southampton and some of the other ones. They're all running at full tilt. Um, they're, they're all stockpiling, and that means that when haulers are turning up, it's taking far longer for the, the, the ships to to be unloaded, which means that the haulers are waiting longer at the ports, which has a knock-on effect then of how much work can be done. You've also got the legislative side of things, of how, how long they can work per day and driver's hours, etc. So... The delays at the ports have a massive knock-on effect, even for the domestic market, for, for goods that are coming in and moving around the UK. OK, thank you for now. That's Martin Reid, Director of the Road Hodge Association.